Hello friends, welcome to Insights ICANN Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the issue of stapled visas. You know that Chinese government issued stapled visas to few of Indian athletes who are supposed to go to China to participate in the university games. Okay, so first we will see the syllabus mapping, then we will go through the video contents. Let's see, in syllabus point of view, it is related to Gender Studies Paper 2 that is India and its neighborhood relations which include the bilateral relations and it is also related to PSIR paper 2B which deals with the Indian bilateral relations. Now let us move on to the video components. Here we are going to discuss about why it is in news that means the issue of stapled visas why it is in news then what is the meaning of the stapled visa and how the stapled visa is different from the normal visa and what is the difference between the visa and passport and why Chinese government they are issuing the stapled visa what is the significance to that then we will discuss about the relationship between the India and China how the relationships are there in this context we are going to discuss about the Belt and Road Initiative and the border disputes between the India and China in terms of LEAC line of actual control and McMahon line we will discuss more about the McMahon line because now the dispute is this Arunachal Pradesh falls in the McMahon line border line then we will discuss about more details regarding the Arunachal Pradesh that is in the end of the video like national parks and wildlife sanctuaries in Arunachal Pradesh biosphere reserves in Arunachal Pradesh such kind of more interesting information we will discuss at the end of the video now let's see so the issue is between India and China you know the students the India's I mean India and China with respect to border areas this border can be categorized into three different ways Western sector central sector and the Eastern sector in the Western sector India and China both are sharing this line of actual control in the Eastern sector the border is known as McMahon line okay in the east in the western sector you can observe that the region oxide chain occupied by china in 1962 war at the same time in the war they also occupied the arunachal pradesh but later they withdrawn their forces from arunachal pradesh and now arunachal pradesh in the administrative control of india but still here and there china is claiming their rights over the arunachal pradesh issuing of stabled visas to athletes from arunachal pradesh is also is an indication that it is belong to the China that is Arunachal Pradesh belong to China that is their claim of course India denies that and recently even China claimed that this Tawang monastery it is a part of the southern Tibet because China occupied Tibet in 1950 from there onwards they are also claiming Arunachal Pradesh is a part of the Tibet we will discuss more about this thing and in this video we are going to discuss about Wushu Wushu is one of the sports so these Wushu players who are supposed to be uh, participate in the China out of this entire 12 players 12 players and staff all together out of the 12 members three members of Arunachal Pradesh they were issued with the stapled visas so India did not send the contingent to China that means we did not send these players to China because China issued the stapled visas and why they were planning to go to China because the world university games they are going in Chengdu. Chengdu is one of the province in China. Now let me explain the concept related to this. So this entire concept is related to stapled visas. Stapled visas. Stapled visas. So what could be your learning objective? The learning objectives are first you have to understand what is the meaning of stapled visa? What is the meaning? Then you have to know what is the difference between the stapled visa and regular visa regular visa very simple students regular visa the stamping will be in the passport in passport authorities will do the stamp of your visa approval in your passport whereas stapled visa they will give some additional document which can be attached to passport through staple okay if you tear away that paper the authorities when you are coming back to India from China they will take away that the paper so that the data of where they are going in China and how long they are staying in China the data will not be available with the Indians Indian authorities and generally issuing stapled visa is indicating that 
those people belong to china because the visa passport all these are synonymous to nation state okay so visa and uh, passport generally they are synonymous to nation state in nation state the relationship between the citizen and state is very very important you know the students okay so we will go through the stapled visa and regular visa difference and in which area people in which area athletes they got the stapled visa or not chal pradesh so obviously china india china they are sharing border in arunachal pradesh that is macmohan line macmohan line we will discuss about this macmohan line who drawn this in which year it was made and what are the china's objections regarding the macmohan line we will discuss then apart from this we will also discuss some of the issues which are going between the india and china okay india and china so now one question to you students can you recall any military exercise between india and china okay if you able to recall any military exercise between india and china please put your answer in the comment section so here we will discuss about belt and road initiative india is objecting this because this project is going through the pak occupied kashmir and apart from this we will also discuss about more details regarding the arunachal pradesh more details regarding arunachal pradesh so these are the areas we will touch upon okay passport and visa both are different passport will be given by a particular country to its citizens whereas visa will be given by the another country and visa indicating that the person is allowed to visit their country and this visa can be applicable for only one time if that is the case that is known as one time visa and sometimes visa can be multiple entry visa also so that means by using that visa you can so go out of their country and you can come back again that is known as multiple entry visas okay this is the context visa visa is like endorsement that means you are giving official permission to enter into the country and living in the country okay and visa validity like i said earlier it can be the single entry or it can be multiple entry visas passport is country citizens and visa will be issued to the people who want to come to that particular country that is a visa if you are not issuing visa simply you are attaching one document to the passport means you are considering those people as your citizens that is the main objection okay issuing stapled visa to people of arunachal pradesh meaning that china is considering arunachal pradesh people as chinese and the second one is it is violating of sovereignty of india okay and it is involving in the indian internal affairs stapled visa one pe one piece of paper will be stapled to passport and if that will be taken out then we don't get any information regarding their traveling details of course ex the flight details you can get but the actual official information will be wiped out entirely how it is different from regular visa in regular visa the visa stamping will be in the within the passport next controversy over the stapled visa china is issuing stapled visas to people of arunachal pradesh because they are considering arunachal pradesh as south tibet especially their claim is going more from 2005 and even they refuse to give visas to government officials in 2006 and they also given stapled visas previously even to the people from jammu and kashmir also okay now the area present in ladakh so it was not a new thing in previous time at previous times also this kind of issue was happened between the india and china china's intention china consider arunachal pradesh as a part of south south tibet zangon zangon okay and it is undermining the india's sovereignty and china is not respecting both lac as well as mcmohan line near the lac we know the students pyongyang lake is uh, you know panglong lake across the panglong lake china recently constructed the bridge also you know that and galwan valley incident also we have seen those this is the line of actual control china and chinese occupied kashmir okay that is oxidation whereas line of control is between india and pakistan line of control next so what what was the india's response india completely rejected this idea and india did not send those players and the entire contingent 
entire team was not sent to china and of course to counter china's influence even we are you know like uh, uh, taking up a lot of infrastructure development plans in northeast and we are improving our relation with our neighboring nations recently to sri lanka also we offer a lot of help and even we are offering help to thailand to myanmar to expand further cooperation even india proposed the bimstick bay of bengal initiative for multi sectoral technical and economic cooperation bimstick okay if you able to tell me students in bimstick there are two countries land locked countries land locked countries what are those countries tell me next india china relations you know the most surprising thing is india was the first country to recognize china as a state okay india was the first country to recognize china as a state and india shown lot of empathy towards china when china was occupied by the imperialistic japanese forces in spite of that in spite of that lot of differences happened between the india and china actually after we got independence in 1954 both india and china we made an agreement that is known as punch shield agreement okay actually this agreement was also became a base for the non alignment movement so india and china both supported the non alignment movement but you know in 1959 dalai lama sought refugee status in india and we given refugee status china objected that and that became the flash point to the later years india china war in 1960 after india china war was happened in 1962 after 2 years okay sorry next year itself 1963 no communist motion was introduced against the jawaharlal nehru government students now china is expanding its influence through belt and road initiative belt and road initiative is having two components land component and water component land component is known as one belt one road and the water component is known as maritime silk roads okay and india is also expanding its footprint in the indian ocean by having cooperation with the usa australia japan in the form of quads in the form of quad as well as in the form of the malabar navy exercise malabar navy exercise okay so this is the uh, brief outline regarding the belt and road initiative and there are certain platforms where india and china both are sharing commonly such as brics and seo shanghai cooperation organization even ric russia india china g20 these are some of the platforms both countries are sharing now we are talking about arunachal pradesh people they were given with the stapled visas so arunachal pradesh and china border is known as mcmohan line who drawn that line the line was drawn by the henry mcmohan actually this line was drawn in you know like somewhere around 19 14 at that time 1914 before world war 1 in this agreement tibet and british india was involved at that time china was not in the picture but later when china occupied tibet china is claiming that when mcmohan line was decided as a border china was not consulted so china is not ready to accept the mcmohan line that is the version of this chinese okay why does china is not accepting like i said earlier they were not part of the mcmohan line agreements now we will see some information regarding the arunachal pradesh you know students arunachal pradesh is one of the state in northeast region borders it is sharing northern border china south assam and nagaland west bhutan and east myanmar okay this is the borders of arunachal pradesh and arunachal pradesh capital is itanagar and it is also known as a land of the rising sun because arunachal pradesh is the first state in india which experienced the sunlight which valley dong valley in arunachal pradesh it experiences the sunlight you know the students the sunrise gap between the arunachal pradesh and gujarat is around 2 hours of time and arunachal pradesh previously used to known as northeast frontier later it named as arunachal pradesh and it was given the ut status in 1972 later it became a state in 1987 the very popular monastery present in arunachal pradesh is tawang monastery and through arunachal pradesh major river such as brahmaputra in india and coming coming the subanasiri the siang lohit tirap these are some of the other rivers which are flow through 
Arunachal Pradesh. Actually, this Brahmaputra in Tibet it is known as Sangpo. Sangpo. Okay. Next, state birds, hornbill, state animal, mithun, and wildlife sanctuaries. These are some of the wildlife sanctuaries present in Arunachal Pradesh. Okay. This Pakke Wildlife Sanctuary is very, very popular, students. Pakke Wildlife Sanctuary. National Park, Namdapa National Park and Mauring National Park. Tiger Reserves, Namdapa Tiger Reserve, Pakke Tiger Reserve. Biosphere Reserve, Dehang Debang Biosphere Reserve. Very popular for Masdir and Mishmi Takin. The tribes who are living in Arunachal Pradesh are Abor and Epatanis, Kamti, Momba, Singpos, Kambandas, Mishmis, Nishi and Wanchu. These are some of the tribes present in Arunachal Pradesh. Forest, typically tropical, subtropical and temperate alpine. That means various range of forest you can see. As Arunachal Pradesh is having the Himalayan mountains, some important passes in Arunachal Pradesh are Bomdila Pass, Indian Tibet, Bumla Pass, Indian Tibet, Tunga Pass, Indian Tibet and Dihang Pass, Indian Tibet. These are the important passes. And the mountain ranges, Dafla Hills, Meri Hills, Ebor Hills, Mishmi Hills and Patkai Range. These three are very very important with respect to mountain range. Mountain range nothing but chain of mountains that is known as mountain range. Minerals like you know petrol, coal, copper, gold, limestone. These are some of the minerals very popular in Arunachal Pradesh. And yesterday's video question. Choose the correct statement about the election commission. The right statement is it is a single member body. It is a single member body. It was a okay. It was a single member body. Okay. If that is the case, it is right. The single member body, not now, was the commission consists of one chief election commission and two election commissioners. It is now. In terms of now, of now it is right. Earlier there were only one election commissioner, and after this amendment, it became multi member, right? At the present moment, these two statements are right. This was not right with respect to now. This question asked, choose the correct statement about the election commission. So only statement 2 and statement 3 are right. So answer is B. Okay. Now let's see today's question. What is stapled visa? Stapled visa means what? Pick the right answer. Main's question. There has been a shift in India's debate policy. Discuss the statement in the event of increasing tensions between the India and China. How India is viewing Tibet? What is the India-Tibetan policy? This is the main question. Now, as we reach to the end of this video, just we will do the quick recap. In this video, we discussed about stapled visa issue and how the stapled visa is different from a regular visa, the difference between the visa and passport, and what is the significance of the stapled visa, McMahon line, the border issues between the India and China, common platforms where India and China sharing and some of the major issues going between the India and China such as Belt and Road Initiative and apart from this we also discussed about more information regarding the Arunachal Pradesh like national parks, biosphere reserves, tribes, minerals and, and forest types we discussed about all this information regarding the Arunachal Pradesh. This is the detailed analysis regarding the stapled visa.